Monster Hunter Now. This game is the illegitimate love child of Niantic, the creators of Pokemon Go, and Capcom, the masterminds behind the original Monster Hunter series. And after a few weeks of on and off hunting, I finally conquered the initial story mission, and now it's time for me to share my two cents on the adventure so far. Right, just returning from sunny Greece, uh, back to England, and I'm a little bit late to the party and doing my first Monster Hunter walk on the, the Sunday. It actually came out on Thursday. I missed the early access. Um, so uh, very late to the party, so I've tried to avoid as much as I can online. Um, I did ask a few people to come play with me tonight, but no one's around. Um, which is a little bit different from Pokemon Go, because I remember when Pokemon Go came out, it was, there was like probably about 30, 40 people out on the release night. So uh, I think summer is officially over because it's half seven and it's almost uh, getting pretty dark now. Um, I'm here with my son Chiron and my Palamute Kia, wherever she is. There she is. Oh, we're not much later in and uh, someone's fallen asleep. So my plan was to do a little walk, get a couple of the great Gyros ready to, uh, to farm because um, I think I struggled on the urgent quest for the great Gyros. Um, the way I've usually placed Monster Hunter is I always don't bother upgrading until I start to struggle and then I will uh, make the armor set of the monster I'm struggling on. So that's my plan now. Um, but so far there's not been that many around, so just fighting what I can. I had to cut the walk short as my son had fallen asleep and it was getting dark. But the hunt continued in the following weeks, fighting more and more challenging monsters. And honestly, I'm really enjoying the game, but I'm kind of struggling to figure out who the target audience is. As far as story goes, I think it's somewhat based on the Monster Hunter movie, which combines the idea of the real world with the Monster Hunter world. I don't know many people who are actually a fan of this crossover idea, but I never played Monster Hunter for the story, although I do enjoy the lore behind the world, but I'm here to say monsters. The reason to why is kind of a mute point. Those that have never played a Monster Hunter title before, I kind of see this as maybe not the best place to start. But if you're a fan of Pokemon Go, you might get some enjoyment because the premise is fairly similar. You walk around and collect stuff. The fighting mechanics are more involved in Monster Hunter, but not very forgiving with a much steeper learning curve. You'll either be waiting 30 minutes to heal up or spending real money to buy potions, which I'm yet to do. Which brings me to another point. I understand they need to make money from the game, but I don't really agree with buying potions. You get 5 free potions a day, for which for someone like me, who's got a full time job and a son, is probably a good amount. But for those with a little bit more free time, I don't think 5 potions is enough. And the other purchasable items are storage space, and I haven't hit the cap yet, but I don't really fancy spending £20 on storage because I can't be bothered to sort out my items. And I know as they release more and more monsters, this is going to become a necessity. The newer Monster Hunter titles actually got rid of storage restraints, and it was pretty obvious that it was an enjoyable part of the game. But thanks for bringing it back, Niantic, with a paywall. I think if I was to spend any money on the game, I think I'd much prefer to buy story missions or maybe something cosmetic. So I've only played multiplayer once, so I can't really comment too much, but it was flawless and I'm seeing a lot of people online complaining about glitchy location bugs. I've had the odd GPS issue where it thinks I'm driving and I'm not, but when I was playing multiplayer it worked fine, it was seamless. My plan is to do multiplayer and maybe I'll do a separate video, but I kind of need to find some friends around my way to play it with. Uh, so if you're in the Essex area or you work in London and fancy playing with me, hit me up in the comments below. It could be fun. Uh, and if you don't agree with anything I've said in this video or you've got some other points you want to raise, uh, hit, hit me up in the comments below. But thanks for watching this far and um, yeah, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to. I don't normally do game reviews, but pff, who knows, I might do some more. Cheers. Bye.